happened at the start of the second round. We've got this going on. Now you can be a little bit more aggressive. And I think today at one under par, with this leaderboard the way it is, you have to be more aggressive. I think that's going to bode well for Jordan. He can start to now go, I've got to do something, right? It, the mission is clear. I've got to be aggressive. I've got to take advantage of the par fives. And remember last year in the final round, he was trailing by many strokes and came out of the gates blistering and was in fact eight under for his round as he came to the 18th hole. And those are the kind of memories that are going to, he'll be able to draw on those memories and those feelings and emotions. And I think he's going to have a good day today. That's a wonderful point. Let's add a little input from Billy Kratzer. Well, I think Jordan Spieth, uh, you know, he's that kind of player that it's tough to attach numbers to. Uh, are his numbers going to be all that great driving the ball? Probably not. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago in 2017, he was really good with his iron play. But I just think that uh, once he works this out, and I think coming back to Augusta National Golf Club, the Masters Tournament, I, I, even though he didn't play all that uh, wonderful in the opening round I, I just think it's a place where all of a sudden the results that he's had for the year evaporate now now it's a different player now you you get to a point where he feels only 64 percent of the greens but that's an improvement from the first round and, and a big improvement from the first round in yeah. fact he hit uh, 13 greens in regulation yesterday hit three more fairways yesterday and his putting has been pretty solid. He's only had one uh, three putt green in each round. He looks confident over the ball. And I think now he's got a little, I mean, this is as comfortable over the golf ball as I've seen him look all week. When, when we saw him on Monday, he and Cameron McCormick had been really working hard. There's Cameron right there. They had been working really hard for two and a half hours before we got out to the, to the that? practice area. and. He seems now to be a little bit more comfortable with whatever it is that they're working on and trusting. And that's really the key. And Cameron knows that in his player that you can't be thinking about too much on the golf course. It's it's time to get to business. Use your visualization. And he's he's resilient too. And again, the, the way he held things together just to just to put that 75 on the board in round one was pretty impressive. Well, and the other thing that, that I noticed yesterday was the swings that he made looked similar. Where on in, in the first round, you know, you'd see one swing and the club was a little bit off plane on the inside and the next one was a little bit off plane on the outside. And his tempo was a little bit off. His demeanor was a little bit off. And he really worked hard in the second nine in round one to get it in at one under par and, and really save what could have been a disastrous round. And then yesterday, four under to now get it to one under par. And yeah. we're going to take a peek at swing tempo with Jordan Spieth and Hideki Matsuyama. And you can see a very different tempo out of Jordan than out of Hideki. A lot more pause at the top. But the length of time that it takes to start the downswing is really interesting. Let's roll on Jordan here and you can see when he takes the club back good full turn. He starts the downswing at 0.712 seconds from when he started the backswing. Now conversely let's look at Hideki because Hideki takes a lot more time and yet both of the tempos are very good. They're just completely different. Hideki. 1.416, almost twice as long for him to start or initiate the downswing over Jordan Speeth at 0.71. Both very, very good ball strikers. Obviously, a lot of success in their professional careers, but completely different, Bobby. And that's the thing I think is so fun about watching is seeing how successful motions can be completely different, much like a Bubba Watson. No, oh, you're exactly right, Michael. And there's so many different styles and approaches that these great players have. But yet when you get right down to it, what they're creating at impact is virtually the same. And that's the, the name of the game. Return the club to the ball and in a similar fashion, giving you the greatest margin of errors. 